Hey, what is up everybody? My name is Rahul and in this video, we'll be looking at a try hack me room called Kubernetes for everyone. The description says that a Kubernetes hacking challenge for DevOps and SRE enthusiasts. Now, this is a room on Kubernetes and what I'll be doing is I'll probably be making a two part video series on this room so that I can do justice on my part and explain you the concept in a much better fashion as we go and move towards it. So we have the IP address and it says that to access the cluster, you need to know the location of the Kubernetes cluster and have credentials to access it, compromise the cluster and best of luck. So the thing that we can try to do here is just start off with a rest scan, a rest scan tag A followed by the IP address. What this will do is this will give you a bunch of ports that are open on this machine, which you can use to further enumerate it. What I would probably be doing is I'll be running an nmap scan once I have the ports open because this would save a lot of time. Now in my case what I have done is I've already run an nmap scan to save time and these are the ports that were open. These ports I found with the help of rest scan as usual. Now port 22 contains SSH we won't be looking into that 111 for RPC bind and this one is a bit peculiar bit because it doesn't reveal the service. It is 3000 and as you can see there was an http request being sent so what we can try to do is we'll just hit that ip address in the meanwhile let's just go through the other ports as well and as you can see this is the port 5000 that is open this is a proper http service being run so 5000 the next is 6443 so those of you who know about kubernetes a bit uh, about a bit you know that 6443 is for the Kubernetes API. So you can access the ports and other services with the help of this API service that runs on this port only if you have the credentials. Also, it is also very common for admins to leave this port unauthorized. So let's just visit that port. Also do remember that this works on HTTPS. So you need to type in HTTPS before. And as you can see, this has proper authorization being set. And this is the reason why it says you need to find the location of Kubernetes cluster and have credentials to access it because you do not have the credentials to access it as of now. So let's just leave this port as of now. There are two services that are running. The first is on port 3000. The second is on port 5000. Now this is the Grafana uh, service that is being run on port 3000. The second is a simple H2 sketch site. So uh, what what can you do as of now? Grafana, you cannot uh, try to you know get a reverse shell out of it because this, what is Grafana? Grafana is simply a data visualization tool. You need to supply it data and what it will try to do is it will try to get you the visual part of it you it, so that you can make sense out of it. Think of it like a SIEM but not a proper SIEM. So uh, a while back, while back, what I was trying to do was I was trying to read about Grafana and I came to know that it was vulnerable to a local file inclusion attack. And as you can see, it does reveal the version number. So I can use this version number to check if this is vulnerable to LFI. So Grafana version 8.3.0 LFI exploit. Or even if I don't type in LFI, let's just type in exploit to see the all the kinds of exploits that it is vulnerable to. And as you can see, it is only vulnerable to the LFI attack. So let's just download the exploit. And in the meanwhile, let's just go through the first question, which is find the username. Now, what are the things that you can try to get the username? So let me just move. I think it is begins with a five. Uh, yeah, fiber pi and let me just move it here. I'll change it to exploit.py and let's just see how we can run it. Python 3 exploit. Now, a good way would be to go through the source code so that you can learn. I'll not be going through it right now, but let's just see how we can use it. And as you can see, it expects a host from us and then let's just try to go through it. So, host HTTP port 3000 now you need to remember that whenever you are typing in a port do remember to type in the schema as well because 
in many of the cases it will simply fail and you might think that the exploit isn't working so let's just hit enter and it says read a file so let me just type in etc password and these are the usernames that we get we have grafana we have nobody and a bunch of these but trust me on this i tried each and every one of these but it didn't work out for me so what are the things that i can try to do so one thing that i thought would help me was was the var because a uh, var secrets directory var run secrets directory because what typically happens is when you try to install kubernetes the c uh, the secrets and the tokens and and all that sort of stuff that you need to access kubernetes is stored in a proper directory which is in the var run secrets kubernetes dot io and then we have uh just me just type kubernetes we have this service account file so you can use this to get the token that you can use it to access the api service but unfortunately in my case you can see it says that file not found so this was not a proper install so what can we do we need to enumerate further so this is another website which we can probably use but what does it do it simply changes the color of the cubes which you hover over so let me just see what happens if i click on the submit button nothing happens click on the null button you can see that nothing happens nothing peculiar happens and there's nothing that you get so that is eye catching next thing which you would probably do is go through the source code first of all begin with the javascript file there's nothing that stands out we have grids reset and everything that is normal we have the main.css file and as you can see there's nothing there's no comment as such and at this point of time i had lost hope because i, I was going through the challenge for about two hours and there's nothing that i had uh, got but then i went to the discord and one of the guys pointed out that you know you should check the main.css file again and this is when this thing got struck so as you can see this is a paged bin link which was commented out and if i go to that site i might find something let's just see what do we find and as you can see this is what we got get if i copy it and let's just go to cyber chef and there's something i would like to inform you as well so this is this does look like base 64 but Typically, what will happen is if all the letters are in capital, it is base 632. So, this is the username, which is Vagrant, I think. This is how you pronounce it. But right now, we need a password file. So, we need the password to this because this is the second part, which is find the password. So, where, how do you find the password? You can go to etc shadow and the, thing, the, the chances are you will not find anything. As you can see, it says something went wrong because you do not have any write or read access to this file. Only the root user has it. So we do not have this right now. So what can you do? You enumerate further and there's nothing I found. But again, as you can see, as luck would have it, this is the password that was stored right in the etc password file. Because many a times what you'll see is this X would be replaced with the uh, password, but here it wasn't. But here was the password for this file. So this is how we get the password. So SSH followed by the username at the rate IP address. Let's just type in yes and followed by the password, which is this and we are in. The second thing it would ask us is find your secret crush. So if you want to keep a secret, you must also hide it from yourself. Find the secret it says. So how do you do it so let's just see if we have anything specific or we do not need any such privileges so if i type in id you'll see that i have i am in the docker group so which means i can run docker based commands so let me just type in sudo tag l so let me just see what other privileges do i have and as you can see all all so let me i have which means i have unrestricted access to this and here I am, which is sudo su, and here I am the root user. If this hadn't been the case, what I would have done is find type f 
permission tag 4000 to see if I could find anything which had the set UID bit set which I could exploit to get the uh, root user privileges but as you can see nothing and uh, I, am, I had everything that I needed so it says you want to keep a secret how do you hide it from yourself so you have docker secret ls so what this does is if you have a secret set in this will help you print it out and but you need to have a swan a note to swan and this tells us that you do not have to look into docker so what are the next other couple of things that you can try to do so kubernetes also had this thing called secrets so if i type in kubectl which is a command line tool to interact with kubernetes so kubectl let me just see if we have access to it and as you can see we do not have it so what you can try to do you can try to install it but in order to install it you need to have access to the you need to have access to the internet which you probably don't have so if i type in google.com you'll see that it won't work so you do not have access to the internet so you cannot install kubectl so as of now so let's just see what do we have anything do you have any other services that are running so if you type in ps aux you'll see that you have k not s so what is it you this is a proper kubernetes thing and this has certain functionalities built in so you can also access kubectl through this kubectl and if i type in help you will see that it does work so waiting for it to work tag h kubectl kubectl you can access kubectl using k not s so we just learned that Kubernetes has a thing called secrets which we can access. So you can use k0s kubectl get secret. I'm sorry about that. kubectl. And as you can see, two things get printed out. So one of them is default token, which I don't think we'll be needing access to. The second is k not k kubernetes authentication so i've copied it and in order to access it what you can try to do is kubectl edit secret followed by this because if you had typed in k not as kubectl get secret followed by this it would have again printed out this but we need to access it so you need to type in edit and if i hit enter you'll see that i get an id so most of the things in kubernetes or be it in docker they are base64 encoded so echo base64 tag d and as you can see it says try hack me yes there is no secret so this is for the video guys i'll be posting out the other two tasks in the future videos thank you guys this is it for the video